वेलकम दिस इज द पार्ट टू प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डिस्कशन मीन्स यू हैव टू राइट अ प्रोग्राम विद इन थर्टी ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी मिनट्स ऑफ टाइम सो दैट वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग प्रीवियसली कमिंग मीन्स इन टी सी एस इन जहाँ दे आर गिविंग सम प्रोग्राम्स सो दो प्रोग्राम्स आर डिस्कस नाउ एंड my request is to uh, watch the complete videos do not uh, skip the process and uh, second important thing most of them are registered in the student kannada.co.in but uh, some of them are unable to write the examination i think they didn't watch the mock interviews mock test uh, video because of the reason they are unable to write the examination and uh, second point is uh, who are writing the examination also not spending complete time on answering all the questions um that is one part and third important point is on jan 3 2019 evening 7 pm i am also conducting live streaming to give some tips on last minute and how the those tips are helpful in writing the examination very smoothly and happily and you have to participate in that live event and uh, just 30 minutes i will give the tips and uh, after that what are the doubts you have i will so i will clarify your doubts on the live streaming on Jan third, two thousand nineteen, at seven p.m. on this YouTube channel. So next one, string reverse. String reverse means we are reversing the bits in a sequence order. A B C D E is reverse to E D C B A. Next example, student. Student is reverse to T E N E D U T S corner is reverse to R E N R O C. So in this way we need to shift the bits. So how we need to do? This are different logics we have. So firstly, using the function S T R R E V. This function is available in string dot H. so here we need to create an array and we need to read the array values after that we need to use this function to reverse it whenever we are printing this array obvious uh, character array string automatically the output will come coming to second one without using st string reverse function so we need to take two strings s and r so first we need to read the value of yes after that we need to know how many how many characters a string contains without using the string functions so not only str or ev we are also not at all using string functions we need until unless we go end with a string we need to count the strings then we need to know that end is equal to count minus 1 Means a hundred, hundred minus one is the string. So that what we are doing is, for begin zero, begin is less than count, begin plus plus, R of begin is equal to S of end. Here end is last character stored in first position. Uh, last character of S is stored in first character in stored in. Uh, our first character, like n minus minus, means if it is count is ten, ninth char ninth character will be stored into first position. Again eight, it will be becoming eight, so on it will be continuing. At the end we need to push slash zero means end of the string, and we need to print the character. This is the one way of representation. So clearly you understand that. i am using different colors for understanding it gets is the function to read a string so 
this and this are indicate uh, print of percentages are these two lines are indicated with blue it, it it says that input and output statements and the, the green is indicated with logic and red is indicating with uh, required things are happening in it these things are remembered the program will run very smoothly and uh, reversing a string using recursion we are also using the mechanism of recursion we need to do it how it is so we need to read the string after that we need to call the string string name a and starting position 0 and we also know the last value last position n so string strln is the method available in string dot h to know the it returns the length of the string so wide reverse these things are called and if the first value and first value is index is indicated with begin last value will be last value index is represented with n so if begin greater than equal to end written c is equal to star x plus begin array representation also indicated with array name plus index so that way we are representing here what we are doing is and x uh, star x plus begin is equal to star x plus n star x plus n is equal to c reverse x comma plus plus begin comma minus minus n so simply you can understand firstly first character and last character is exchanged so after uh, processing up to this line e d e first e b c d a after again we call means now b and c are swapped and now the new string is e d c b a after that only one character so no swapping is occur so this is the way we are exchanging it simple very simple first character and last character we need to exchange next next two character section next two character section like this it will be continuing reversing a string one more logic it also it is also very very similar that from we starts with last to reach zero what we are doing is what is the string we read the string is stored in new string this is a very simple process so